circumcision rates have been skyrocketing around the world since the World Health Organization has concluded that it has been proven beyond reasonable doubt that circumcision reduces a man's risk of contracting HIV by threefold and created guidelines on how countries should be setting up circumcision programs. Over 70% of males worldwide this upcoming generation are or will be getting circumcised. Circumcision has become the most important tool in the fight against HIV as it is just a one-time intervention that provides a lifetime of protection. Studies show many documented reports of women standing up for this invaluable public health measure by talking to men about getting circumcised and refusing to have sex with men who are not circumcised. D. Because they are at a much higher risk of having STDs. Studies have found that over 70% of women prefer a circumcised partner, with almost all of the remainder having no preference. The studies also provide some quotes from men and women who were personally interviewed. They will have circumcised. My mama is circumcised. And they have to be circumcised. Yes. One woman reported that she would say to an uncircumcised man you tell him that circumcision is good, a circumcised person has less chances of getting infected with these diseases. And if he refuses circumcision then you should just leave him. One man reported one day when I met my partner, I had a guilty conscience. She told me, if you are circumcised then I will agree to be with you so that we can live together. But if you are not circumcised, I cannot say yes. At that, I had a guilty conscience and decided to go back to get circumcised, she is now my fiancé. Another man reported this girlfriend of mine, I seduced her on the street and went with her where I lived. As soon as I took off my clothes and she saw that I had that thing for skin, she said no. She refused. Later on, when I heard that the service VMMC was available, that is when I decided to go. I went and got that service, I was pressured by her. In a group discussion, it was said a woman may get a male lover. Now when they are together and he takes his clothes off, if she sees that he is uncircumcised since she has learned about circumcision, she will say, no, I cannot do it with you since you have not been circumcised. Studies consistently show circumcision increases sexual pleasure for men as well. One man reported I think there is a difference in sexual experience between before circumcision and after circumcision. For instance, maybe while you still had your foreskin you were not performing in a way that really satisfies you. Your foreskin was getting in the way of your enjoying sex. But when you come back now after circumcision you become satisfied when you perform. It is clear that women play a critical role in encouraging men to undergo this critical public health measure, and all women should inform the men in their lives about the benefits of circumcision.